scientists have detected an enormous cavity growing beneath Antarctica. This on Science Alert by Peter Dockrill. A few days ago, Antarctica is not a good, in a good place, they say, in a space of only decades. The continent has lost trillions of tons of ice at alarming rates we can't keep up with, even in places we once thought were safe. Now, let's remember Antarctica has over 100 volcanoes and a lot of them are active. Now a stunning new void has been revealed amidst this massive vanishing act and it's a big one, a gigantic cavity growing under West Antarctica that scientists say covers two-thirds the footprint of Manhattan and stands almost 300 meters, that's 984 feet tall. This huge opening at the bottom of the Thwaites Glacier, a mass infamously dubbed the most dangerous glacier in the world, is so big it represents an overt chunk of the estimated 252 billion tons of ice Antarctica loses every year. Researchers say that the cavity would once have been large enough to hold some 14 billion tons of ice. Even more disturbing, the researchers say it lost most of its ice volume over the last three years alone. Quote, we have suspected for years that Thwaites was not tightly attached to the bedrock beneath it, end quote. Says geological, uh, geologist Eric Riganot of the University of California at Irvine and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Pasadena. He says, thanks to a new generation of satellites, we can finally see the detail, end quote. Rignot and fellow researchers discovered the cavity using ice-penetrating radar as part of NASA's Operation Ice Bridge that additional data supplied by German and France, uh, French scientists. And according to the readings, the hidden void is but one ice casualty among a complex pattern of retreat and ice melt, thanks to that's taking place in Thwaites Glacier, sections of which are retreating as much as 2,625 feet every year. The complex pattern of the new readings reveal, which don't fit with ice, recurrent ice sheet or ocean models, suggest scientists have more to learn about how water and ice interact with one another in the frigid but warming Antarctic environment. Quote, we are discovering different mechanisms of retreat, and quote, first author of the new paper, JPL, radar scientist Pietro Milillo explains, while researchers are still learning new things about the complex ways ice melts at the Thwaite Glacier, at its most basic, the giant cavity represents a simple, if unfortunate, scientific actuality. The size of the cavity under the glacier plays an important role in melting, Mililo says. As more heat and water get under the glacier, it melts faster. That's important to note since Thwaites currently accounts for about 4% of global sea level rise. If it were to disappear entirely, the ice held in the glacier could lift the ocean by an estimated two feet, but that's not even the worst case scenario. Pueyes Glacier actually holds in neighboring glaciers and ice masses further inland. If its buttressing force disappears, the consequences could be unthinkable, which is why it's considered such a pivotal natural structure in the Antarctic landscape. Just how long will it stay, nobody knows, which is why scientists are right now embarking on a major expedition to learn more about Thwaites. What they'll find remains to be seen, but is inarguably among the most important scientific research being conducted in the world right now. As New York University geoscience scientist David Holland, who was not involved in the current study, says, for global sea level change in the next century, this Thwaites Glacier is almost the entire story. You can find the reports in Science Advances, and this is on Science Alert. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on 
not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.